Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lint, and welcome back to episode 25 of my Let's Play series of Dungeon of the Endless. So, last episode was a little bit disappointing, um, just a lot of bad things happened, uh, probably the main starter of the chain reaction of bad things to come was that dust factory that blew up in that huge room that could have been super beneficial to us, but instead it blew up in our face, and we lost it everything that was in there, not that I had anything in there in the first place, but it could have been a good foothold, especially if I had gotten more dust from the dust generator. Um, and then, I just kept making some bad decisions, lost some important uh, major modules, and eventually had everyone die. So, we're gonna start a new game. We're gonna try too easy, so I can actually maybe make it through the game. We'll see. If that's a thing that I can do. Hopefully it is. And this time we start... Who the heck is that? Who are you? Oh, we have Scroig! Oh, man. Okay. A light, quick, and deadly forager. Scroig has a problem of which it is completely unaware. It should have been born a rakish nobleman in the era of the musketeers. Unusually dapper and witty for an insectoid carrion eater, always well dressed and with a delicate palate, Scorg's wit, sophistication, and elegant use of a blade are completely wasted on its peers. Oh, he sounds so cool! Oh man, I like him a whole lot already, even though he doesn't have any uh, skills. At least I have Max O'Kane, a classic favorite of mine who has Operate. And without further ado, let's get on. Oh, man, Scroig is so awesome! Okay, a couple enemies right off the bat, but that is not too bad. Holy crap! Okay. Attack uh, cooldown 0.8. Interesting. Okay. So let's light up this room. Uh, we will build industry first. As a first and foremost thing. Scroig, you will go to the left. See what's in there. Dead end, but I am okay with that kind of a dead end. Found a lot more industry. Oh my goodness, okay. Things are looking so good already. I probably shouldn't be saying that because whenever I say that in any of my videos, that usually leads to me making some pretty dire mistakes, but I honestly feel really good about this already. Like, really, really good. And, ooh, okay. Let's do this. We'll do this. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh my goodness, yes. So good. So good. Okay. This run is just so good. We can light up the rooms for days. Oh, and we found the artifact. That's an interesting proposition. Uh, suppressive, Claymore, Tear Gas 1. I could almost get Claymore right away. But it got nerfed, and it seems kind of really, really weak, especially compared to Tesla. So I think I'm going to invest in uh, Tear Gas, see if that does something for me. And uh, I don't think I can build any more modules yet. No, I cannot, unfortunately. Uh, we will go to the right, see what's in there. We can light up this room if we so choose, which I... Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna level up both people. Ooh, ooh, what is that? Last Supper. Heroes in Room. Attack power plus 25. Oh my god. Scroig, you are my favorite, most favorite person ever. And you get verbal abuse. Oh my god. These two are a powerhouse combination. Oh my goodness. And I can lay up another room. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, RNG-based gods, and an item. Okay, too easy might actually be seem a little too easy. Nail gun, um, interesting proposition. Might be good for the early game. We'll try it out. And I think I'm going to get tear gas already. That is crazy. So we'll go up here, see what's in here. And we find Golgi. gonna have to ignore you right now anyways just because I don't have enough food but I should have enough food after another room oh man 
Easy mode for life. Uh, but I should honestly get another module, at the very least. Uh, another major module, that is, I should say. And what are our, Not that I can get any of these anyways. Prisoner Prod 3, if I had 19... Science. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's do the math here. If I build a science module there, then I have the guy research it. Science module gives me three additional. I would be up to six. How much do you add to? You add another three. So I could potentially get Prisoner Prod 3, which would be, cr well, I shouldn't say crazy good, but actually it's, mmm, ugh. You know what, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I am just going to go up here and find another excellent room. We are going to try and get Golgi, and by try I mean we are going to, we are going to get Golgi, yes, that is the thing that we will do. Golgi, you are level 1, hopefully not level 1 for too long, and oh, I should be investing in modules, I am such an idiot. Let's get some more food, food is a thing I definitely need right now, and as far as where I want to go next, Golgi, you can go in here. No, I don't want to do anything with that. You can go to the right here, and okay, okay. I found some industry that that could be very useful. And have I? I don't think I've even encountered any enemies on this floor yet, which is baffling, but. I guess that's just something that sort of happens on too easy mode. Oh, and I found a merchant as well, which has Yushin, guard uniform, pea shooter, and a rapier. Um, I don't know when I have can even use a rapier. Uh, pea shooter, 7. 16 in attack power. Nail gun gives me... That is such an obvious buy. So I will buy that for you. I will sell this. That leaves me with that. Okay. If I happen to get enough dust for a guard uniform and this guy's still alive, that will be a thing that I invest in. Um, but for now, let's go up here. Actually, let's see. Because I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six rooms left at the very least. Which means I could get one of these things. Do I want to get one of these things? Not really, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to save my uh, science for the next floor. Oh, Skroig is just so cool. It's just the best. And we have finally ran into our very first enemy. So let's level you up. You get a web slinger. Okay. And let's, uh, we have an ample supply of, uh, industry. We can just leave that running by itself for a little bit. And I think I should be investing in maybe unlocking that. And a little bit. I like the visual effects of uh, the fog in rooms, actually. I just noticed that. Uh, yeah, let's open up this. See what's over here. Okay, that could be good. And still only one enemy. Not even enemy waves incoming, which is a little bit ridiculous, but I'm not complaining. Easy mode is Probably almost too easy in my opinion, but I'm not complaining. At least I get to show off some of the game instead of floundering around hoping that something might happen. Hustle's found again. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Skroig, you're just... You're just so awesome, Skroig. I love you. I love you, Skroig. Get more defense, more DPS. That's cool with me. You get soil and green, 0.1 food for kill mobs. Okay, that could be interesting. Ooh, and I do have enough. Okay, so you can't even wear armor, so. That, uh. Guards uniform would be useless for you. You, on the other hand, could definitely use a guards uniform. Though so could Max O'Kane actually, but it would reduce his speed, which he does not have a lot to spare. <laughs> okay, and dog, no barking. Okay, no barking. Um. Okay, what was I saying? So if I am gonna get the guards uniform, I oop. Uh, yeah. Gonna get the guards uniform. I think Goldgate will get it. Just so she's not as squishy. Yeah, Goldgate can have it. And then uh anything else I want to invest in? Not that I can think of off the top of my head right now. And we found more mobs. And now we actually have of course the first time we have enemies incoming, so, like just a stupid amount of enemies as well, actually. And, oh, he just wrecks people. Like, he wrecks them. It's so awesome. Oh! Skoik. Or Skroik. You are, you're just too awesome. <laughs> too awesome for words to describe. Um, yeah, we'll light up this room and we will get... Dare I say another uh, food module? Nah. Mm, uh, you know what? Yeah. We'll get another food module because turrets don't seem overly important right now. And the more food modules I invest in right now, then the more I can level up people to have an even greater advantage at the next level. Um, and we will upgrade Max O'Kane. Okay? Yeah, we'll upgrade Max O'Kane. Okay. So you don't get any new abilities, but you're still awesome. But not as awesome as Skroig. Skroig will be my new favorite of all time in the history of all things good and awesome. Okay, and we found more dust. Interesting prop. <gasps> you're attacking so fast! Oh. That's just... How are you even able to attack that fast? I, it doesn't make sense. Not that I'm complaining, but it just doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, let's get... Although this could be the very last room, so I'm not sure if I want to invest in another module just for the last room. Now let's... Yeah, and like I thought it was the last room with the exit. So... Who's our fastest person on our team right now that can carry the module to safety. Uh, that would probably be, okay, speed 36, speed 31, speed 30. That would be Golgi. So Golgi, you can go down here. Oh, we'll power down, power down, power down. Power up, power up, power up. You two can win. Oh, excuse me. That was very inappropriate, but you can pick this up and make your way over to here. And you two can win here and just wreck anyone that comes in here. And okay, so that's... Things are actually attacking the major modules? I didn't think that was a thing. But apparently it is. Um, oh, actually, before I leave this floor, I'm actually just going to level you up real quick. You didn't get an ability. That's not a huge deal. Oh, and uh, yeah, you know what? You two can handle yourselves over there. And that is the end of the first floor of my of this run. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to this point of the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. Every 
time you do that, it helps me out a lot. And until next time, oh, right, sorry. If you want to see more content like this, you can always subscribe to me to uh, be notified whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, have a good one, everyone.